So what I got here is you turn the water on and it leaks underneath. It's leaking back in the wall. Look how they did me. It's a, uh, you can't even get to the, can't even get to it. And then they were random water lines down here on this. So I got to pull the stove out. This is a fall space. Pull the stove out to get to it. So, you can see back in there. It's going to be the copper. This is the fur coat. It's the copper on the other side of the stud, which is behind the sink. So, <laughs> you can see the ca the cabinet's not even not even all the way back. Cabinet's not even all the way back. Listen, my son, to your father's instructions, and do not forsake your mother's teaching. That they shall be garland and grace to your head and chain adorning your neck. My son, if sinners entice you, do not give in to them. They say, come along with us. Let us lie and wait for someone's blood. Let's lay way someone harmless soul. Let's swallow them alive like the grave and woe like those who go to the pit. <clears throat> we will get all sorts of valuables things and fill our houses with plunder. Throw in your lot with us and we will share a common purse. My son, do not go along with them. Do not set foot on their path. How useless to spread a net in full view of all the birds. These men lie in wait for their own blood. They lay way only themselves. Such is the end of all who go after ill-gotten gain. It takes away the lives of those who get it. I know it's kind of a long one. Um, this, this was um, Proverbs 1, verse 8 through 19. I know it was a long one. But I kind of wanted to, and it's kind of hard to kind of understand this a little bit, but basically it's saying, don't, you know, don't run with the devils. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't run with those who are quick to jump on the weak, to jump on somebody and, and just ruin their lives. You know, you know, I, I read this and I thought about this for a while and the more I thought about it, I'm like, you know, it's talking about lying in wait for someone's blood. You know, you're going to jump out and kill somebody. You know, in today's society, you, you think, well, that would never happen. That would never happen. It does every day. Except instead of jumping out and butchering somebody, you know, it's constantly negative, negative, neg negativity towards people, you know. Especially on the internet. That's all the internet is. It's all about stabbing somebody in the back. Talking ill about somebody. It's always about gaining a foothold in someone's life. Um, you know, one, one person will talk smack about another person to gain, you know, subscribers, gain views. To gain notoriety because you're talking crap about somebody, you know what I mean? And it it goes in so many different directions, man. Like for instance, uh, this whole solar eclipse thing that's going on. There are so many people out there that are jumping on that bandwagon, and they're 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 spreading these lies and spreading this falseness about this eclipse as if it, as if if God's coming back tomorrow. 
literally tomorrow for me. <laughs> but it, it's, it's, and everybody's jumping on the bandwagon with this. You know, everybody's trying to get their, their little two seconds of, of fame off of it. I, you know, I, it, what all of this, what I'm seeing going on in the world right now with this eclipse and with uh, a lot of stuff that I see, it reminds me of the movie uh, Men in Black. I think it was the second one where they go to the locker and those little men, those little p creatures are in there and they're worshiping. I think it was they, they were first, they were worshiping the watch. Or no, it was a business card. And when Will Smith took the card, he gave them the watch. And they were they were all bowing down to the watch. Oh, hell, the great. You know what I'm saying? It's I, I see society, society now is like that. It's what's the next, what's the next thing that, that people want to, you know, worship and, and just, you know, run after. That's why I, like I said, in, in Proverbs one nineteen, such is the end of all who go after ill gotten gain. It takes away the lives of those who get it. Seek the Lord in all of his, you know, <laughs> seek the Lord. That, because you know what? He, it, it, it's all that matters, man. Really, really. That's all that matters is doing the Lord's will and seeking after the Lord and seeking his will for your life and not ill-gotten gain. You know, YouTube. Because <laughs> I sit, I sit and watch all these YouTube channels and see people. They're constantly coming up with some gimmick and some way to get attention, to get these views, to get subscribers, to get monies, to be famous. It was I. I really. What I think is really disturbing is TikTok and uh, Instagram. I think it's very disturbing because people got such a short attention spans, you know. And and it's you you can't find you very very seldom ever cross come across a female on there that is that's not half naked or it's all about her body or you know it, it's dancing i mean like i said there are quite a few people there are people out there that that are not like that but i'm saying 90 percent of the scroll through it's these girls are talking you know showing off their bodies and they got no morals anymore you know i know i'm going left to center on this but it's all the same ill-gotten gain i'm gonna let the lord work with that one because that's it is that's a long drawn out conversation. I hope that this word inspired you today to think about ill gotten gain and you know running with people you know running with people to do evil. You know, I know it when you read it that's one way of seeing it, but you know, that it, it spurs off in other dire directions. You know, if 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 the person you're hanging out with all the time is constantly chasing after, you know, getting high and doing drugs and drinking and chasing women and whatnot ever, you know, that doesn't do nothing but just draw you down. Sucks you right into that, you know. I've been there, dude, so I'm, uh, I've been there. I wasted three years of my life because of that. But anyways... So, uh, hopefully this kind of gets you to thinking about um, what you're really chasing after, you know, in life. So, hopefully. Anyways, so let's pray about this day and uh, maybe get on and do some good work for people. Okay. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day that you've given me. 
Father God, I thank you for this time in your word. Father, I pray that you open our eyes, our mind, and, and, and to know, to see anywhere in our life where there's uh, where we're not going the right direction. Father God, I pray for wisdom and guidance in those areas. I pray that you would help us to overcome these areas. I pray that you would give us guidance, Lord. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you, brothers. I hope and pray for the best for this day. And uh, may the Lord be with you. Cabinets not even all the way back. Look at this. They got the countertop sitting on the edge of it because they didn't push it back all the way. They didn't redo the line. Had they cut that off and moved it on the other side of the two by four, it'd have been a lot better. But yeah, it's just crazy, man. It's just crazy how this is set up. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to cut the cabinet out. I'm gonna have to cut the back of that cabinet open to get to it. Right in the joint. Right in the freaking wall. So let me cut this out and see what we can get into. Looks like it's been leaking for a long time now. A long time. It's that elbow. That elbow's no good. And then that's the vent. And it's tipped that way. Mm. There's another pipe right here. That'll be upstairs drain. Yo. Well, I may end up having to do this from the other side, man. Because the other side is our bathroom. Because there's no way to get in here to feel me. Because it's right up against the wall, anyways. Oh my gosh, how am I going to fix this, man? The drop, the drop is right here. I can feel it. Why is this over here when there's an outlet over there? These contractors, man, they just screwed this all up. There's an outlet right there. Non-GFI outlet. <laughs> Whatever, bro. Good times. Well, guys. Well, I could cut the rest of this 2x4 out. But they don't make a fur coat, fur coat, um, 90. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. What I could do. could do is go ahead and cut this off put a boot and then go PVC out real quick 90 bring it out basically the same thing except get rid of this stupid bar <laughs> you know what I mean this is all stupid bro no this is right What the frick? 
this out. It's got a rubber boot on there. Why is there a boot on there? Go straight into. Anyway. Stuff I see, bro. That just ain't right. That ain't right at all. This ain't right. They've just got it shoved in the side of it. They don't even have a coupling on there. Good times. Good times, man. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this 2 by 4 cut it out of the way, and cut this off. Get this out of there. Took a loss and it ain't something that I'm planning. I dare you to say something. My focus is A1. Every dog has his day. It's been mine since day one. This is real grinding. I'm still climbing. While you still trying, I'm still shining. It's real blinding. And I'm getting hotter too. Talking top two, I'm not a two. You let the pressure bother you when I do what I gotta do. Let's go home. I can I can get one on there. That gives me no room over there. No room. But I can get this on there. But there's no room behind there. I don't like to reuse old couplings because they uh, have a tendency to leak on you. I wonder how much longer the rest of this is going to last. Nope, it's no good there either. Just by rubbing on that, it's, look at that, it's hard leaking. We're going to have to open up the wall on the other side and uh, get in there. So, you can see right there is the stud. You can see the nail pop. So, we're just going to open this up. I'm probably going to have to just put an access panel in here. I didn't want to do it this way. I wanted to go underneath the sink. I thought maybe it'd be a small repair. But as you can see, it snowballed. Let's open this pig up. It's, uh, it's leaking right there, too. Right there. This whole piece of pipe's got to be redone. And this is this is gonna be inch inch and a quarter. That's gonna be one inch. It's I don't know what the freak this is for. It can't be a vent because it's right here. I don't know what this is. It can't be a vent. Because it'd be vented right here and this would be the drop from spare. Oh ruddy then. Let's get creative with this one, bro. I don't know what this is. I don't know why that would be vented out. And it can't be, this has got to be a vent stack too. But I, that don't make any sense. Why would you be two inch drop vent up with this? Because you don't need it if you've got this. And this is going to be, I don't know, this, none of this makes any sense, bro. None of it. Uh, 
Electrical. What is that? Is that electrical? What is that? What is this? Uh, feels like a lake school or something up in there. Alrighty, so we are into the There's just not enough room You know And this is wrong So I'm thinking we go back to here we cut this out it's inch and a quarter. We cut this out right here and just redo it. Because I don't know what this is. I, I think I'm going to see if I can find me a cap. We just cap that off. It can't be a drain because that's too small to be a kitchen sink drain. This is two inch over here. It's inch and a half, inch and a quarter. This has got to be the drain for upstairs. The reason why I say that is because it only leaked when she would run in the sink. But if the tenant upstairs ran in the sink, it would leak down here too. So I think we just I think we just cut this off, run us over, cap this off. We do it that way. And see what happens after that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> cool. It's, that it's been leaking for a long time, but yeah, you can I can feel underneath this. It's wet all the way across through here. This pipe is real thin, so let's go get some parts and get this done. Well, we're back, so let's see what we can do about getting this finished up before lunch. And give me another pair of gloves. I love these Klein gloves, man. They're freaking nice. I used to wear them in Milwaukee's all the time, but they, they didn't seem to last as long. But anyways, so we're going to cut this right here. We're going to go PVC out, and now I'm going to cap this bad boy. And I got an access panel for this, so I'm going to go ahead and mark that so I can cut the hole to give me a little bit more room. Yeah, I'm away, bro. Alrighty. You know what's funny? Is that 90% of maintenance never get into crap I get into. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is funny. Let's see if I get that place was light. I think he's out of work. So, I need to miss this wire. I could, I've it's a contraption I found. I don't know if it's going to work. Um, I did find this little guy here, and I already know it's too big. So, we'll see what we can do with it. I don't think that's going to be too big, too. Anyway, let's go ahead and cut this and get it out of the way.
So now I gotta just bring a piece of pipe straight out. Should have enough room right there. I want to pre see where my head went so I can cut this off, give or take, like right here, and put that sleeve on there and be fine. See how that worked? Perfectly. So the next I can do is glaze fittings and we're good to go, man. Cool. We're golden now. Well, I'll let this sit up, uh, the glue set up while I do the cleanup, and we're out of here. Looking pretty good, man. No leaks. Looks wonderful. No. Cool beans. Door latch. It's just barely missing. I'm going to shoot some longer screws in here, see if I can pull it over real quick. I'm sure it already has one. Yeah, it's already got a long screw in it. It's already got a long screw in it. Hmm. Well... We'll see, I might have to burr that out a little bit. Wow, the deadbolt's even down. Let's see what's up with this. Well, it's solid. It's solid. Just have to wring that out a little bit. I hate it when it's just barely. But somebody's already dropped that deadbolt latch down, man. Really? Somebody's already dropped that down quite a bit. Wasn't me. And you can see it's just barely missing. So let me see if I can adjust this latch a little bit. Quarter. About a half inch. I love this little blade. Let me see if that works. Yep. All right, so I'll put that striker back on. Might have to move it down slightly. Let me set it on there real quick. Take a look. I'll put it on there to see if it's gonna catch it. Give it a shot. Well, let's see if it's gonna catch. Nope. Gotta be drop down. Just barely. Put it on the first gear because that second speed's too quick on me. See, that screw's not going to make it now. So, we'll have to put a longer screw on it, which is the only thing I've got with me. But before I do that, I want to go ahead and test it. Just make sure. Make sure it still works. Yep. 
rats, and that would run that longer screw in there. And kick it on second gear. That's why I don't like this. It's, you always got to be adjusting it, you know? Always and forever. There we go. That works. I'm out. So this is the same guy that lost his keys. Uh, he uh, lost his mailbox key too, so I'll go down to the shed and see if I can find another mailbox lock, like what he's got. Uh, I think I got a whole box of them used. And uh, we'll drill his lock out and pop a lock, bro. Let me go get a lock. Usually if you get a probar in there, <coughs> you pop it pretty easy. This style here is to slide up on it, so pretty easy popper. Let's take the screw off the back. Well, and then it's got a little clip pin on the back. Same way as the new one. Just, uh, just like the new one. Take this, you just stick it in the hole. A little pin goes on the back. Catch it. If it's loose though, then you won't put the nut on it. <clears throat> Pull the pin back off. It can, some of them come with a nut. Some of them don't. Bolt, screw, fastener, whatever the freak you want to call them. <laughs> It's a nut, man. Gotta screw that nut. Tighten her up. Not too tight, but tighten it up. Now, the lock, this is the bracket that was on here. And I'm gonna see if I can get, I don't think this old one will work. Nope, it's too far out. So, this is how it was because I bent it, getting it off, so I'm gonna straighten it back out a little bit. Take the take a little pry bar to it on the floor. Make sure it's in the lock position. Put that on there. And a lot of guys don't do this, but this little spinner lock, a little lock washer, you need that on there. Well, this is not gonna work. Oh, that's right. My bad. This is a Phillips screwdriver. Phillips bit. Mm -hmm. I almost forgot what I was putting on there. And it's got the it's got the locker nut or washer on there. What'll happen is if you don't have that little spider washer on there, it'll back itself off. So. That's way too long. Let's see if we can shorten that distance up a little bit. Yep, that worked fine, just by bending it a little bit. Yep, works just fine, cool. We'll leave the key in the box for the guy and we are done with this work order. This next work order I got is, I don't know, it's weird. But anyway, she put in five work orders, five different work orders at the same time. Instead of doing word and work order and a list of stuff, it's goofy. Anyways, um, I won't be able to film this one. Uh, she's just weird. She's weird. So, it's all it is. is the outlet's not working smoke detector battery and she's complaining about the ceiling peeling but there's nothing i can do about the ceiling peeling it's it's one of those weird i i can't do it i'd have to te retexture the entire ceiling in the kitchen living room dining room stock cost effective that's aka the boss so 
Anyways, we're going to go do this, and then we're probably going to go back to the water heater install, the line redo. And I've got to cap off all the lines because the faucet got installed and uh, pressurize the system and make sure I don't have any leaks before we get any farther on the drywall. You know what I'm saying? The electrician's there now uh, replacing the main breaker box in the apartment, so probably won't have any power. <laughs> All righty, so let's, I'm going to do this work order real quick. Well, I'm back over, over here on this water heater install where I redid all the water lines. And I need to hook up the wire. Uh, the wire was just free floating behind the furnace. And that's the reason why I'm going to go ahead and re-sleeve this. Uh, slide it down the side of another tube. Uh, because the electrical guy is in there and he's replacing the breaker box. And uh, I just didn't want him to accidentally turn that on and throw sparks up behind the water heater or something so we'll go ahead and get it's got to be done anyway so we'll go ahead and get the uh, wire run on this and that's probably that's all we're going to do in here today it's already 4 30 ish uh, the contractor's also standing right beside me there he's chapping off about whatever <laughs> I don't even remember the conversation we were having but anyways so yeah good times man good times Uh, also, there's a one of the lines that I brazed or soldered together underneath the furnace. It also has a little pee hole in it. So when I came back in there, because the water, I had already capped off all of the water lines and did a pressure test for the day. That's why I came back, not only to do the wire, but to check for any leaks. And there's a pee, pee run underneath the water heater. It's a real, real, real tiny little spot. And it's uh, where the old line came up to the floor. So that's what we're gonna have to work on Monday. We're gonna have to come back over and uh, undo the line because it's uh, one of those elbows I put on. And which is funny because I saw it in the video after. <laughs> I saw where the copper didn't, or the flux wasn't taken and I added more flux. So that's uh, gonna be a pro press fitting we'll have put on there because uh, I can't heat that up. It's already got, um, the PEX A line attached to it, so we'll have to cut that out and redo it a little bit. No big deal, man. No big deal. Just a little bit of uh, recording that I would normally would delete, but I just thought it was kind of funny, so uh, I'm going to let you listen to a little uh, background conversation with contractors. Here we go. Uh, yeah, but I turned the water back off and I let the pressure out of the tank because I got a pisser down here on the bottom. Yeah, just leave it off. Yeah, I'm, I'm not messing with that. What's that? I said, I'm going to turn it back on. He wanted me to check to make sure all the circuits are going to work. Yeah. Well, they've all got all the outlets and stuff got to be replaced. Lights got to be. I thought you probably going to do that. I mean, I mean, they are right having the outlets and everything done. Hey, I'm gonna replace them. Switches, lights. Okay, that's what I figured. You yeah. want to do them? I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, don't be sniggered under your breath there now. <laughs> God damn it. Shit, we'll make a deal. You wanna praise God?